What up, people? What's good? What's good? Hold on. I'm trying to get this lighting right. What's going on? What's up with everybody? Had a little dusty. It's okay. Had a little dusty. The camera always get me. Let me see who in here with me. Hold on. Let me let me pop my chat out real quick so I can see who here with me. What's going on, John? No, John and OE. What's going on, John Jones? What's good on Teresa? What's good, Nate Artist? What's going on, Lord Nova? What's good? What's good? What's good? Rashad Mallory, what's going on? Pranav Gara, what's good? What's good? Adair Hughes, Amanda Brown. What's going on? My people coming here. Dallas Davis, Stage. What's good? Jaylene Battle. Chris Davis, Davis Webb. Y'all hit that like button as y'all come in. Let's chit chat. Let's talk a little bit. Sean Nesbeth with the 199 Super Chat. Salute Big Rome. Thank you for that super chat, Sean Nesbeth. I appreciate you. How you doing this evening? You good? You good? You good? Janelle Hill, what's going on? William Green. Renee Allen, how you doing? How you doing? Now Lumpkins, good. King James, was good? Make sure I miss nobody. King James, I just pray we get draft picks. We didn't we, that game had both sides. I pray too, man. I pray too. No question. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to just lean to the side of the positive until things don't work out. I'm going to try. I'm trying not to be as negative, man. I'm trying to turn over a new leaf. I know y'all been getting tired of me being so negative. So we're going to try and do better. Hold on. Let me move this camera back just a little bit. Just a little bit. I hope that's good. A little too much on me. Too, too, too close to a bra. I hope that's good. Can y'all hear me loud and clear? We goody. Y'all can hear me loud and clear. Let me see. Star Girl, what's good? What's good? Earl Grady, Joe Gonzalez. All right, so I'm going to ask the customary question. You know what I'm saying? It's Saturday night. We're going to have a little sip tonight. We're going to chill a little bit. We're going to have a little tequila. We're going to talk a little football, talk our talk our favorite team that love to drive us crazy. That's what we're going to do. We're going to do a little tequila in the Cowboys glass, nothing too crazy. And we're going to talk about how this team stresses us out. That's what we're going to do. 82 people in here. Y'all hit that like button for a brother if y'all can. And we're going to talk a little bit. We're going to talk a little bit. You know what I'm saying? If the, if the team ain't stressed y'all out too much to where you like, I'm done. I'm leaving. I'm not doing this no more. <laughs> you know, which is well within your right. If you just done, you done. I can't. What I'm going to say. You know what I'm saying? See what's going on in this chat. You know, at this point, we are leaning on hope 100%. Big hope. <laughs> <laughs> we we them hope boys and we almost had 100 people in here man y'all hit that like button for me we definitely leaning on hope dano strangest off season you know what's funny about this off season that bugged me out when i heard someone say you know how we say cowboys never spend in the off season sorry i'm getting my my light a little bit better y'all know how y'all hear that cowboys never spend in the off season so don't you know what i'm saying don't stress it you know how y'all hear that? It's been calculated. This is the cheapest Cowboys offseason. I don't want to say ever, but at least in the last 15 years. Ashlyn Ray, what's good? The cheapest Cowboys offseason in the last 15 years. We've done that least of spending. That's crazy. So when everybody keep telling me, yo, stop tripping. I see I got my daughter Starbucks cup. She's going to kill me. But it's all good. But 
Brad Harris was good. Noah Simmons was going on. Chris Glenn, they blowing it up. See, and I think this the crazy thing. This the craziest thing ever. Let's walk with that. Y'all want to have a talk about that? Y'all want to have a talk about them blowing it up real quick? A little discussion? Yes or no? We can talk about the guys in the thumbnail first, or we can talk about this whole rebuild situation. What y'all want to do first? Brandy Mahoney, what's good? What's good? See, I do think they blowing it up, but they're doing it the Cowboys way. Cowboys always got to do stuff they way. That's the frustrating thing. I do think they're trying to turn this roster over. I can't pinpoint on if they're going to keep Dak or not. Every day I lean the different way. Let me read this Super Chat real quick. Lucas Herbert with the five dollars Super Chat. Appreciate you, Lucas. Skip Bayless. <laughs> Maybe right. Dallas will not make the playoffs this year. No, we'll make the playoffs. Even with all of the losses we have, I can't find seven teams better than Dallas in the NFC. Seven teams better than Dallas? That's a reach. Even with the losses, our starters were still good enough to make the playoffs because running back is a position that you could turn over young. We're going to draft a running back. We know that. Our defense and our offense is a little too good. Outside of major injury, we'll make the playoffs. Am I saying we're going to win the division? No. No. I ain't going to guarantee winning the division. Not until we start. I got to see what the moves look like. But, yeah, we're, we're not the seventh worst team. Let's say this. Let's say we swap places with Green Bay. They was the seventh seed, and we was the, what, second seed? I can see that. We'll end up finishing the sixth six or the seventh seed. Can y'all see that? Lucas, are we still better than Washington? Do me a favor, Lu favor Lucas. Even if they draft Jaden Daniels, correct? Even if they draft Jaden Daniels, name Washington's top five players and name the Cowboys' top five players. Just name them. And I'm sorry, I'm taking Mike McCarthy over Dan Quinn. I just am. We still have, until further notice, until something crazy happens, we still have Dak Prescott, C.D. Lamb, Micah Parsons. We got to start the conversation there. Then we got Trayvon Diggs, Demarcus Lawrence, Zach Martin, Tyler Smith. Like, our core players, Demarcus, uh, I think I said D-Law. Deron Bland, who had a phenomenal year last year. We have holes, but our starters, I'm not our depth is what's messed up right now. Jake Ferguson, who is better than Zach Ertz at this point in his life. Zach Ertz is a shell of himself because he's like 75 years old. Like, come on now. DMV. Now ain't nobody leaving you, dog. That's my dog. Shout out to DMV, man. Y'all better be subscribed to my brother channel. We have Eric Kendricks, yes. So we at the end of the day, we still have a better team than Washington, even with Jaden Daniels. Jaden Daniels might become phenomenal. But his first first year, Jaden Daniels is not better than Dak Prescott. Y'all can let that dream go. Let it go. Let it go. Dallas playing with my emotions. Dallas are 100% playing with our emotions. Now, let me go back to this blow up. The Cowboys, hit the like button for me. Just 150 people in here. Well, I know 30 people slid in here and didn't. You know what? I'm drinking some tequila because y'all messing with my emotions. I know 30 people slid in here and did not hit the like button. Y'all just walked in. Y'all walked past me. I was chilling in my li living room. Y'all walked past me. Y'all didn't take y'all shoes off. Y'all went in my kitchen and y'all started making something to eat. And y'all didn't even say what's up. So that's cool. Hit that like button. I'm going to drink some tequila. You know, since this team stresses me out. Dano, excellent, excellent question. Who blows it up with this with that young talent? I don't know. The Cowboys are what the, the Steelers just did. The Steelers have an excellent roster, and they're trying to find an excellent quarterback. 
and they're going to roll the dice. The Cowboys already have an excellent quarterback, an all-pro quarterback, led the league in touchdowns. They have an excellent roster. They have a chance to add to that excellent roster, but instead of doing that, they're not signing nobody. They're not signing nobody on purpose. And they might let their all-pro quarterback walk on purpose. So you can let a person that has never started more than three games in NFL, Trey Lance possibly, or an unknown rookie take over the reins. And then you think you're better positioned to win. Somebody explain that to me. See, that's why the blow up doesn't make sense to me. I think that they're resetting the roster, retooling, whatever you want to rebranding. I don't care what word you use. See, we got cornball in here early. Come on, Kingdom. I ain't even. I've been in here eleven minutes. You already ready with your with your with your retardedness? Dak has to go. I'm only acknowledging people that right come in here talking about Dak has to go. That write a plan. If you give me a better plan besides just saying draft a rookie, I'll listen. If all you're saying is Dak has to go, I'm going to mute you. That's the rule tonight. If you can't give me better than just Dak has to go or Dak ain't it or something like that, if you says Dak has to go because I want to draft a quarterback this year and give me the quarterback and why he'll be good or whatever, something like that, I'll listen. But if you're just saying Dak has to go, I'm going to mute you. So, you know, comment at your own risk. Sydney Jones, it's 193 people in here and we got – uh, 104 likes. Y'all messing with my emotion. Sydney Jones with the $5 super chat. I just want to see Diggs, Gilly, Bland, and Lewis on the same field. You might not get Gilly back. I'm sorry. Side note, maybe low expectations is the best thing for Dallas. I'm uh, in the playoffs. Hey, excellent point. Low expectations might be great for this team. It's something that we never get to do. And maybe by not signing nobody, the expectation is going to be so low that they finally do something. But we're going to have to see. <laughs> we're going to have to see. Thank you for that super chat. I don't know if we're getting Gilly back, man. I, I pray. I would love Gilly, Calais Campbell. I'm praying for a Jadavian Clowney, but I don't think we're going to get him. Some type of a depth. Some type of a depth. Hit that like button for me, though, if you can. The last 50 people that came in here, at least 25 of y'all hit the like button. Miss Sadiqa Charles, how you doing, Miss Charles? Sadiqa be killing me in my DMs, man. Sadiqa be mad at me. She don't like when I go negative. Sadiqa, Miss Charles be killing me in my DMs. She be telling me, Rome, stop being negative. Stop. I hate it. And I'm and I'm, and I'm sorry, Miss Charles. I'm, I'm doing better. Brandon Fife with the $20 super chat. Y'all know the deal. When you see 20 in the chat. Got to throw the fire emojis in there for my for my dog Brandon. I appreciate you. Thank you for that super chat. Just for the cartel and the CFT, man. You gotta ask the question. You know the rules. Appreciate you though for that love, man. Thank you. Thank you. We always appreciate it. You always show up for the channel. Um, I don't understand the blow up. If your team is not good at signing free agents, I'm gonna ask some questions. Chat, cartel, everybody just pay attention. Just say yes or no. Are the Cowboys good at signing free agents? Are they good at signing free agents? Let's let's just start with that. We're going to start with that. Are they good? Kelvin Hicks, real quick. No, no, no. Somebody said yes. You just lying. Leroy, Leroy Kip. Come on, dog. You, you don't got to lie to me. No, no, no. Ashlyn Ray, Trey Lance developed the right way, could in fact be the QB of the future for the Cowboys. <sighs> I'm going to have to disagree. Trey Lance next year is going to be worth 20. I think his, his, his final year of his contract is 24 million. No one pays 24 million for a backup. So you got to make a decision. Are you going to sign Trey Lance for 24 million? No, nah, you're not going to do that. You're going to let him walk and try and talk him into re-signing with the Cowboys because we had faith in you. No, no, no. 
just 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 go get another backup. Keep Cooper Rush. Stop playing with me. But as far as like he's he's had three games in NFL. He had less passes in his his entire collegiate and professional career. His entire collegiate and professional career. Dak threw more passes last year. Trey Lance ain't it, y'all. I know y'all want to have faith in something new. You got to pick another quarterback to have faith in. No disrespect to Trey. And if he proves me wrong, I promise I'll, I'll go on an apology tour. But I don't see it. I don't see it. So I said, is, is Dallas good at drafting free agents? I mean, I'm signing free agents. Sorry. I said no. Is Dallas, hey, is DMV still in here? My dog DMV still in here? DMV. I'll ask DMV this. DMV, I want to hear what DMV say first. DMV, I got to make you a, um, uh, hold on. Oh, no, you're a man managing moderator. All right, all right, just making sure. Is Dallas good at drafting? ASMR, sips, sips drink. Is Dallas good at drafting? Pay attention to DMV's <laughs> answer. <laughs> I think Dallas is decent at drafting. But we should all, maybe even solid, but we should all have our eyes open like this for this year's draft. Because if Dallas is so good at drafting, then y'all tell me what happened last year's draft. No excuses. And I ain't talking about undrafted free agents. What happened last year's draft? That's seven players. What happened? Y'all get y'all tell me what happened. Y'all tell me if they helped. Samaj Griffin with the 499 Super Chat. I appreciate you. They could be good at signing free agents if they wanted to, but they always, um, for the most part, go after players that are left over hoping for gold. Well, see, I appreciate you for that super chat. And I want to get them the benefit of the doubt, but that's giving them the benefit of the doubt. Show me execution. I could have abs if I stuck to diets and worked out five times a day. But I don't. Because I don't work out five times a day and stick to diets. I'm working on that myself right now, but you can't get them credit for something they ain't doing. Do they have the money? Sure. Is this a great organization? Great. Uh, as far as like, you know, stature and stuff like that, history, lineage. But they ain't signing nobody. And it's been over a decade. I'm not giving you credit for that. Nah, but thank you. Um, young boy JD with the 999 super chat. Appreciate you, young boy JD. What's good, CFT? Make me a moderator, man. Show me love. I am showing love because um because the day's been rough. With your live streams, make it 10 times better. And answer to your question, Dallas is good at a lot. Dallas is good at a lot of things. I'll give you a mod back. Um, no deleting messages, please. <laughs> but I appreciate you. Thank you for the um super chat. Um DMV, we had no instant hits from last year's draft. No question. And his other response was 13 in five years. That that hit only only held on to seven. So it's not that they horrible at drafting. And I appreciate you, bro. Thanks, DMV. Um, it's that they not guaranteed to hit. Because if you was guaranteed to hit, we wouldn't have a whole draft that that was zeros. And I hate to say that because y'all know I love Mozzie. I do. I want Mozzie to work out. I want to be proven right because I was beating my chest all offseason. We got 207 people in here. Let's get it to 150 likes, please. It's just, just 19 more likes, 18 more likes. Somebody just hit the like button. <sighs> but Mozzie ain't work out, man. Schoonmaker is not it yet. Maybe he going to hit the ground running this year. I don't see it. I seen Richards. I hope he can turn into a swing tackle. Please. Please. Who else? Jalen Brooks looks the most promising. Jalen Brooks looks like he might be, he might have a little juice to him. I like his route running. I like Jalen Brooks. But that was our seventh rounder. 
What's going on? I want Deuce Vaughn to become something. I really do. I think it'd be dope to have Deuce just turn into something. But I got to see it. I got to see it. Deuce averaged 1.7 yards a carry last year. That is disheartening to say the best. It just is. Like, what are we going to do? You know, what are we going to do? So according to the blow up and I see the super chats, I'm gonna get to you in two seconds. I see you, Matthew Henderson and young boy, JD. I got you. I'm gonna get to that in one second. I got you. I got you. I got you. I just want to say one thing. Don't delete whoever deleted Mozzie as a six rounder. Let 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 the comments rock, please. Don't get the deleting comments. That's not derogatory. That's just Mozzie ain't played good last year. I ain't, I ain't even mad at that. Let the comments rock. If they look crazy, I, you know, unless it's something racist or something like that, just let let them be, please. Because I can't even see them. Sometimes I want to respond to some stupidity. Um, what I was gonna say is this. Um. I want these players to give us something. I do. Because no help is coming. Do y'all understand that? We can't blow this team up because we don't sign free agents. We draft well, let's just say 65% of the time. That's not a good enough hit rate to not use other resources. We barely trade. So who's going to build this team? You going to blow it up for what? This ain't the Rams. We not the Eagles as far as team building quickly. We don't do that. I ain't saying it's perfect, but we slow roast. We slow roast this rebuild every year. Or slow roast build this roster. That's what we do. We're not designed to rebuild quickly. And if we're not designed to rebuild quickly, Y'all ready for six years of a rebuild? Because that's how slow we build our rosters. Y'all y'all down for that? Y'all want to just be building for the next six years? Four years if you're lucky? Y'all want to start over like that? Because that's how Dallas builds. We draft a draft class. We redshirt draftees. We hope that they hit two, three years from now. So if we start over, you talking about our team not being good for four to five years? I don't want to do that. I turn 41 next month. I don't want to be 49 like, oh, the team finally back to normal. Like, I don't. I'm sorry. That's just me. Matthew Henderson with the 499 Super Chat. Bro, I feel like adding Mitchell, A.D. Mitchell, I, I like him. Tavondre Sweat, I like him. Cooper BB, Jalen Waite um, would, kill, um, would kill off a lot of worry. Show us if we are um, going to blow it up or not. Hey, I agree with you on adding those people. Mitchell, um, Tavondre Sweat, Cooper BB, 100% would be great additions. Um, young boy JD with the 199 Super Chat. That Brooks receiver, we need him <laughs> as a third man right now, to be honest. No question. Um, John Stevens tight end showed potential. He did, man. I hope he's recovering well from his ACL injury. I am. I am. Rome, my dad was 40 when the Eagles won the Super Bowl. 199 Super Chat, young boy, JD. That's what's up, man. Happy born day to dad when he turned 40. <laughs> but my question is this. Like I said, who going to do this rebuild? Because y'all let me know. Let's get it to 200 likes. Y'all let me know. Nah, 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 nah. That, 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 that show title going to be what it is, DMV. And people gonna have to just put that pause in there mentally because I ran out of characters. It is what it is. You're gonna get that show title and you're gonna like it. Cause I ain't changing it. <laughs> I ain't changing it at all. Um, who gonna do this rebuild, y'all? Y'all trust the front office, y'all trust the Jones family to rebuild this team quickly and go get y'all a new quarterback and, and better players. Y'all trust them. Y'all trust them to. Not only do the rebuild, y'all trust them to go get you a new head coach, a new quarterback, new better players, and to do it quickly? <laughs> oh, 
Okay, let's 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 get rid. Let's start over. Because that's my question for the people that hate Dak, and Dak just gotta go. Okay. Dak just gotta go, right? How do we get this team back good quick? I, hey, Brandy Mahoney, I think this year's Michigan players are a little bit different. This year's Michigan players, they're, they're national champions. It's some good players on that team this year. This is a different Michigan team. Normally, Michigan is one thing, but the players on this team, oh, I'll take some Michigan players this year. I like Jenkins. Um, I like, um, what's the, um, the linebacker? Uh, I like the running back Corum. I like the um, linebacker. I like Wilson, the receiver. Um, I like Michigan. I like their center. I like one of their guards. Y'all playing. I'll take some players on Michigan this year. I ain't even going to hold you. I ain't even going to hold you. But I see y'all just y'all with it, though. Ain't nobody like, I'm not trusting Jerry and them with this rebuild. I'm sorry. I see with the 199 Super Chat. What's good? Oh, it's a good time. So, sorry I'm late. Uh, what I miss. You ain't miss nothing. We just in here complaining about the front office and wondering if a rebuild is even worth it. Because who going to do it? Are they going to hire somebody else? Colston, that's the name. The line, that's the linebacker name. My fault. Colston. You know, it's one of those things went on a tangent. Let's talk about the three gentlemen on my thumbnail. Let's just cut to the chase. Do y'all think that Tyler Smith can play left tackle? That's first. Let's start there before we talk about TJ Bass or Brock Hoffman. Because nobody else is coming. We better get used to them players that's already on our roster. Nobody else is coming. So y'all with me? I'm team Tyler Smith to left tackle. 100%. Put the boy out there. I know he can get the job done. Put the boy out there. All right. We went to Tyler Smith. Now let's go to TJ Bass. Can TJ Bass play good left guard? Do you trust TJ Bass at left guard? I do. I saw some nastiness. I saw some savviness. I saw I, I like TJ Bass. I can I can see it. King James, I don't know. I respect that. <laughs> Good three to kiss. F no. I feel you. Now, am I saying don't draft nobody? Yes. You, know, you draft the guard, you draft the center. But I'm not drafting them first. I'm not drafting the guard first round, second round. You go get a guard and a center in the draft. It's a deep guard center draft. You get them in the rounds, you get guard centers. And in the earlier drafts, you get the best players available. No question. 247 people in here. Can y'all hit that like button for me? It should be at least 200 likes. You get it to 200 likes, it'll be 300 people in here. The more you like the show, the more or less people know I'm live right now. I know it's late on a Saturday night, but whatever. No, hold on. Tito, T Tito Negron. Excellent point. I'm making everybody compete for their position. I'm not saying just give this, you know, you give the starting position to, the, um, to Tyler Smith. He's the starting left tackle. But TJ Bass and Brock Hoffman got to work. And y'all want to know a sneaky, sneaky person I would love to put on this team? That can push push TJ Bass at left guard. Let me see who's thinking. Who's a player you know you can get for eight dollars because the Cowboys is cheap right now that will come on this team and push TJ Bass? I know y'all thinking like me. Leroy Kimball. That's a fact. I'm giving you a mod for that. Because me and Leroy are on the same page. Bring in Lyle Collins. Nate Artis, you talking like a person that got a regular GM. 
You talking like a person that go out there and they sign. We sign goodwill players. You ever been to the Salvation Army or Goodwill? You ever seen one of them things where you donate clothes in the parking lot of Domino's? That's where we shop, baby. You ain't never bought dinner from Dollar General? That's what the Cowboys do. So you got to you gotta adjust your thought process. You ain't got no regular GM. Lyle Collins is a good deal. You not getting no prime. You not getting no Wagyu. No, you're not getting Wagyu. You're not getting prime choice. None of that. Nah. You getting your steak from the Dollar Tree. And it's gray a little bit. That's what we doing. Lyle Collins is a good prospect for you. Because that's all we can afford. Yeah, you buying your, your steak out the trunk from a dude that stole the meats from the grocery store. That's what we doing. You not getting no good, no. No, them days, no. No. I'm sorry. Of course he available. Don't nobody want him. Lyle Collins at the house. Nobody's calling him. Them the type of free agents you're going to get and you're going to like it. And I'm going to like it. I hate it. I'm sorry to tell you it. That's where we at. Hey, y'all want to get mad? Let's play to get let's let's play to get y'all mad game. Look, look, uh, like two hundred people left, or uh, like like seventy people left when I when I brought up the fact Lyle Collins. They just like I'm out. We not getting Gilmore. We gonna get a, a cornerback. Y'all ain't even been thinking about. Because I heard it floated out there a couple weeks ago from somebody that got a little bit of know how in the organization. We're not going to bring in Gilmore. You know who we're going to sign? Let's see if y'all can guess again. What corner are we going to sign? No, we're not going to get Xavier Howard. We're not signing Izzy back. No, 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 no. no, no. Somebody off the roster, but we're going to add depth. We're going to add cheap depth. Another, another goodwill signing. Not Anthony Brown. Cheeto. That's right. Cheeto. Chidobe Awuzie. Joe Gonzalez wins the wins the, wins this round. Yeah, we are going to sign these cheap players, baby. Lyle Collins and Awuzie. Look, 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 Randy Mahoney's cursing already. <laughs> Cheeto, baby, we going to get Cheeto. Yeah. Oh, Cheeto signed in Tennessee. I thought he was free. I thought he got let go. Okay. They would have. I heard it. They would have. Cheeto already got a job. All right. That's the type of signings we're going after. We're not going to get nobody. And look, I'm not beating my chest because I'm happy about it. I ain't know he signed with Tennessee. Okay, respect. And I'm just saying the Cowboys ain't trying. It probably will be Anthony Brown then. Cowboys fan 95. Nah, I ain't drunk. Nah, drunk. Come on, CT. That that's I. You think I'm drunk that quick? You ain't got no respect. I took like two drinks. Dang, CT. I can hold my liquor better than that. CT ain't got no faith in a brother. He said, "Is you drunk?" Oh my God, two shots. It ain't even been. It's that. That's it. Who you drink with? That's a shame. And it's, it was quick, though. I, I, it's only been 30 minutes. You think I'm bent? I, y'all don't got no respect for it, bro. <laughs> they artists. You get a mod. Respect his tolerance is hilarious. Respect his tolerance is hilarious. Welcome to the cartel. Um, Nah, but listen. I think, in all seriousness, I think that TJ Bass is going to get every chance. I think that Brock Hoffman is going to get every chance to take those starting jobs. And I'll be 100% honest with you. You know what I like about Brock Hoffman the most? Appreciate you, Aubrey Johnson. Brock Hoffman got attitude. And that's something our offensive line been lacking. Brock Hoffman is nasty. Yeah, J. Ron Curse already a free agent. I don't know if they're going to resign him, but he already a free agent. 
I want that nastiness on my offensive line. TJ Bass got a nasty streak. I've seen Tyler Smith pancake people, push people against their will. I want nastiness on my offensive line. That's the one thing. That's the one thing that Tyler Beatish was missing, an uh, edge. I feel like Tyler um, Beatish had the, the, you know, the want to, and, you know, I think he knew the game, but he just wasn't strong enough. In big moments, he used to always get dominated, man. Brock Hoffman is nasty. Y'all remember that fight in training camp last year? 203 likes. Appreciate y'all. In training camp last year, y'all remember when Brock Hoffman got into it with Sam Williams? Now, that's when I saw Tyler Beattis show some, some fight because he he, 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 um, he decked um, Sam, Sam Williams when he wasn't looking. And I was like, wow, look at Tyler. But he ain't show that type of aggression during the games in the, in the season. Brock Hoffman shows that aggression in the season. Y'all hold on for one second. Hold on for one second. Clint Walker, hey, CFT, how you doing? I'm good, man. I'm good. I can't complain. I mean, no, well, I can't complain about this team, but I won't complain because it ain't going to do us no good. So why am I in here beating my chest about TJ Bass and Brock Hoffman? Why do you think I, I, I would be lucky and happy if those gentlemen can start? Because I know the importance of offensive line. I do. Why do you think I want them to start so bad with all the holes in this team? It's simple. We need the draft capital. They is all we got. Nobody else is coming to help us. But if we got a lot of holes, except especially depth holes and stuff like that, I don't want to force picks. I hate drafting for need. I hate drafting and forcing picks because you end up drafting people out of place trying to force it. It's not that I wouldn't take great offensive linemen or defensive linemen or nothing like that. I just wanted to be the best player on the board. I don't want to be like, yo, we got to go tackle no matter what. And then you look up and it's an excellent edge rusher there. And you're like, <sighs> like the edge rusher out of UCLA. I can't pronounce his name. He a beast. If he's sitting there, I want to be able to take him. You feel me? I want to be able to take the best player on the board. I don't want to be like, yo, we got to take a tackle no matter what. We just got to do it. I want to better take the best players on the board. Now, I know we had to force take a running back, but I feel like because you don't have to take a running back in the first round, we'll be BPA, best player available. Yes, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Brandy Mahoney. Yes. Um, Leatu. That's the guy, King James. That's the guy, Leatu. He looks amazing. Balance, the way he was running them drills at his pro day, he looks amazing. I would draft him 100% in the first round. But right now, they're just forcing these tackles upon us. Got to take a tackle. Got to take Barton. Got to take um, Jordan Morgan. Got to take – like, I don't want to got to take nobody. And y'all already know I'm team receiver. I 100% want to be able to take Keon Coleman or Thomas Jr. or Roman Wilson or Xavier Leggett. I want to take one. I want to take a weapon. I want to take Jonathan Brooks in the second round, Trey Benson. You know what I'm saying? I want to I want to load up this team for real with, with impact players. I don't want to take a tackle that, you know, I don't know. He might be all right. Jerry Rice and Braden Rice. I like Braden Rice. He look all right. <laughs> Roman Wilson a bum. I feel you. I ain't hey man. I ain't I chalk tall. You you wanna argue. I I got enough, I got enough anger with the front office. I ain't arguing with you, man. I just ain't I'm not doing it. I'm just not doing it. <laughs> so he could be a bum. He looked like a decent prospect to me, though. I bet you he's better than our, our third receiver. I bet you he's better than our third receiver. He better than Jalen Tobert. I bet you he is. I bet you he is. No disrespect to Jalen Tobert, but he got to show me more. That's where I'm at with it. I'm not giving nobody nothing. Everybody on this team got to show me something. If Jackson Power Johnson is there and he the best player on the board, take him. That's fact. 
even though I'm team trade back, I want to trade back, load up the clip, get Braden Fisk, get Collison. I want to I want to load up. I want two seconds, two thirds, um, extra picks in the back of the yeah. Because it's gold in the second round. And the players we need fit in the second round this year. It they do. But if the right players there at 24, I want to take them. Yeah, Braden Fist look incredible. All right, we probably won't take a running back in the first chops 88. You're right. That might be an OD reach. But best player on the board. Somebody like B. John Robinson from last year. I'd have took him early, but they did. You know what I'm saying? Extended clip, even. That's a fact, just Blaze. Extended clip. I want to trade back too, though. I want to trade back too. This is a long. This is an amazingly long off season. It's been depressing. All the emotions, all the emotions, anger, apathy. People have been cried, yelled, fought. We fighting each other. It's this off season been wow. LTC load the clip. That's right, DMV load the clip. I'm not playing with nobody. I want impact players. Y'all think I just want to load the clip because I'm trying to uplift or, or prop up Dak Prescott. It ain't even got nothing to do with that. I want impact players. We need players that can come in and help right now. I want a running back that's going to be good. I want a running back that's going to make us be like, yo, no, I don't really miss Tony Pollard. No, no, I don't miss him. I want a linebacker that's going to come in and be like, yo, that's the best linebacker the Cowboys had in the last 15 years. I want that. Yeah. I want a receiver that coming that's so good that CD be like, hold up, dog. Calm down, young boy. I want I want impact players. That's what I want. I want D tackle that's going to come in and be better than all our D tackles. I want Osa to be like, oh, who's y'all just draft? Yeah. That's what we thought we was getting Mozzie. And hopefully our players that we got already step up. Lucas Herbert, can we get back? Can we get Zeke back? I would take Zeke back, but they're not going to do it. I would love to take Zeke back, but they're not going to do it. They're not going to do it. Y'all saying no. See, there y'all go again. Think y'all got regular GM. Zeke is a good back, a good depth back. You talking like we a team that that that, that goes out there and gets the best players on the market. You going to take this goodwill player and you going to like it. You going to take Zeke like getting a coupon. You, you going to take this coupon. Yeah. Zeke like getting a running back on Black Friday. That's what we that's what we do. We don't go get regular players. Now, do I think Zeke is good within the 10? Yeah, I will bring Zeke in chest for goal line threat. Because as much as y'all love Hunter Lipke, Zeke better than Hunter Lipke right now. Tell me, tell, somebody tell me I'm lying. Now, now y'all go ahead and lie to me. Javante Deloach with the 199 Super Chat. Dallas track record of second round picks is not good. I, hey, man. We're not good at we're not good at free agency. We're not good at second round picks. We're not good at building a roster outside of developing draft pick. I don't something gotta give. We gotta get good at something. Maybe we have a bunch of second round picks we can't mess up. Although Trayvon Diggs is a second round pick. I'm just saying. Hold on. What we'll super chat I missed? Um, young boy JD. Oh, young boy JD with another super chat. My fault. One nine super chat. Good night, man. This fan base is disgusting. Disgusting, except you, bro. The fan base not disgusting, bro. They just angry. Just like me and you get angry, we we get angry from time to time. I'm not mad at them. Thank you for the super chat. We all get angry, man. The, the, the Jones family has us angry. I can't blame nobody. They just we tired of the, we tired of the, the mediocrity. Um, Lucas Herbert, two dollars super chat. Clyde Edwards Hilaire is a good pickup. He is, but he costs money. They could pay Zeke's vet minimum. Plus, we already paying Zeke, but don't nobody want to talk about that. 
We all pay, already paying Zeke six million. That's why we can pay him vet minimum. But look, we ain't gonna bring in Zeke. We just not. If we were, we would have. I don't see it. But can Zeke do what Hunter Lipke is doing better? Yes. Zeke don't fumble in that Miami game. Zeke scores. And that and that 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 touchdown that Tony Pollard couldn't get in the Miami game, Zeke scores right there. As much as y'all don't like Zeke, he scores right there. You're not keeping Zeke out the end zone. I bet you that. We get within that 10 yard line, Zeke is scoring. So y'all can hate Zeke all y'all want. Zeke coming in this game and get team and get you 10 touchdowns instantly. Now he's not breaking one for 70, but he's gonna get you them 10 touchdowns. <laughs> That's why I would take him. He's going to get you them 10 touchdowns. Within the 10, he dangerous. Look, we bring Zeke on this team. Philly got the, the tush, push, whatever you want to call it. We would have the Zeke. And when it's short yardage, give it to Zeke. That would be our superpower. Short yardage, I trust Zeke, man. He might not get everyone, but he's going to get 7, 8 out of 10. That's a fact. The Zeke sneak. I, hey, bring in the Zeke sneak. No question. Bring in that Zeke, Zeke sneak. Hit the like button. Appreciate you. But we're not getting them. Let's not talk about stuff that's not going to happen. We're not getting them. Um, Demarion Overshone. How y'all feel about that? And I know he's coming off of ACL, and I hate it. But the one thing you can see, if you've seen the thumbnail, if you've seen the video on Twitter or X or whatever you call it, Overshone put on some weight. Overshone put on some weight. Overshone, Overshone looked like he put on a good 20 pounds, 15 to 20. I don't think it – maybe I'm reaching, maybe 10. But I'm just guessing. Look like he put on about 15. I think he's going to be a dog. I hate that we got to lean on him. Lucas Herbert Cowboys are reeling. <laughs> I feel you, dog. Thank you for that $2 Super Chat. I hate that we got to lean on him because he's coming off an ACL injury. That's why I still want to – I still – want to draft a linebacker. We got an older linebacker in Kendricks. We got a, a, a young veteran in um, Damone Clark. We got a young rookie coming back that's hungry and overshown. And you want to build your linebacker room out properly, you add one more linebacker, you draft one, a good one, and that's your four-man rotation. Maybe you get another one to be a special teamer, but that's your four-man rotation. I like that. Veteran. Veteran in Kendricks, young, healthy, I mean, young, now healthy, but still green, linebacker and overshown. Young veteran in Damone Clark, third year. And then you go get another young one. That's the That would be a good linebacker room. What about Tur Tobert and T Turpin? They'll be on the team. Remember, we just need one receiver because we got rid of um, Turpin and Tobert will be on the team. We have a five five receivers. Um, we just need one receiver. I just want a really, 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 really good one. That's what I want, a really, 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 really good one. But I think Overshone is going to 100% be a help this year. I just don't want to put everything on Overshone. Does that make sense to y'all? I don't want to be like, yo, Overshone or bust. No. Kendricks helps. Kendricks solidifies that room. But just go get a younger. Um, you get Gary or Gray. What's his name? Gray, Cedric Gray out of um UNC or Hopper out of Missouri. Um, Chambers out of Ohio State. Just go get me another solid linebacker. Of course, I like Edric Cooper. Of course, I like Payne Wilson. We I know, I know. I'm talking about if we get one later in the draft. I, I know. I know the good, the real, real good ones. I know. But if we don't get one of the real, real good ones, there's still good linebackers in this draft that you can add. That you can add. 
But don't don't lead us. Don't don't go get me a six seven round linebacker. Get me somebody in the fourth or fifth. Oh yeah, we don't have our fourth round pick because it's Trey Lance. Because it's Trey Lance. That just made me mad again. That's why I'm team trade back, man. I want my fourth round pick back. <laughs> Timothy Soils was good. Because Trey Lance just taking up space. He ain't doing nothing. I hope I we have I haven't seen Mozzie on film or, or like or like a picture of Mozzie. Jeff we Weiler or uh, Wheeler? Jeff Wheeler. But I would I would man if they show Mozzie and he put his weight back on, I'll be so happy. We drafted Mozzie at 3:30. Mozzie come back out there at 3:30. I'm gonna be smiling so hard. Just come back out there heavy. I'll take look. look y'all I, don't it look like I'll be eating. I'll take Mozzie out. Yo, Mozzie, you wanna go get something to eat? It's on me. Let's get Mozzie back heavy. Hey, look. Clog up that hole. Pause. Slow as a snail. It is what it is. Just be heavy in here. That's why we need to draft a D tackle because our D tackle situation is bad. Like, really bad. Like, that might be the most non, uh, the, the position we're the weakest at on the whole team. Eric Kendricks makes our linebacker room solidified. We have, we got Oso Diggy Zua in the D tackle room. Chauncey Golston, which is a DN D tackle. Carl Davis and Mozzie Smith. Our D tackle room is nasty work. We need two D tackles, bare minimum. If if they sign Calais Campbell, I'm going to drop a tear. And he likes 75 years old. But if they sign Calais Campbell, I'm going to cry a little bit. Because the bare minimum, he just got grown man strength. He just not being moved. No Diddy is hilarious. Diddy a nasty boy, though. That's a freaky dude. Diddy a freaky dude. I'm not even freaky deaky. I'm not messing with the Diddy talk. Carl Davis used to be good. Word. I used to be slim in college. So, you know, we all used to be something. <laughs> Carl Davis needed. Nah, man. He don't need to be on my team. Because I don't see it. I don't see it. I just need them boys to step up. Them boys in the thumbnail step up. Mozzie step up. I'm asking for a lot. A whole lot. I need Mozzie to step up. Bass and Hoffman to step up. I need Demario Overshone to be good. Diggs to come back. And we'll be straight. I'm asking for a lot, though. I mean, I know Diggs will be good when he gets back. But I'm asking for a lot, but that's because we need a lot. We're not getting no help from outside because our front office thinks that signing free agents is against the law. So we're not, there's not going to happen. So that's, that's our only bet. Our only bet is for our front office to actually, not our front office, the players on our team to step up and play better. Gilmore, he opened to come back to the Cowboys, but they offered him $8 and some, and some sweet seats. Choctaw, Montana, you did lose weight, bro. I seen you at the gym. Hey, man, I'm trying to do my thing. I appreciate you. Long way to go, but I appreciate you. I'm trying to put in a little work. Apostle Benny, we do need a lot. And what's good with you? We need a lot. We do need a lot. But all I can say is no help is coming. The players on our team got to play better. And that that's Stephen Jones even wins with me saying that because that's that's what he want me to say. You know, you, you know, our players got to step up. I'm like, come on, man. You don't even try to sign nobody like that's all he got for me. Our players got to step up. And now I'm saying I have no choice. What else I'm supposed to say to y'all? I can't come here and lie. Yo, we're going to go get this person. They keep releasing the top free agents list and it pisses me off because we ain't even looking at it. No one else is saying, yo. I will come here and apologize to y'all. I don't see us signing no more free agents this year. This is it. Draftees and undrafted free agents. This is it. I hate to say it. We're not signing nobody else. 
I don't know. I hate to say it. But look, I'm going to slide up out of here. I just want to touch base with y'all and let y'all know, man. Well, y'all already knew nobody else was coming. I want to just talk to y'all about the, the the what's going on with this blow up or whatever we're doing. Because I just, I don't see, I don't I don't know the plan. I don't know what's going on. It looks like we're, 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 we're about to tank, but it just don't make sense with the talent we got. It just don't make sense. It don't add up. What the Jones family is doing does not make sense. I can't make sense of it. I go from one day I think that they, they're going to draft a quarterback this year. They're going to let Dak Prescott walk. They're going to trade Micah Parsons. They're going to trade C.D. Lamb. They're going to start over completely. Like, I don't know what's going on. Because their actions do not show, hey, we was 12-5 and five last year, and if we just add something to this team, we can be better. Their actions don't show that. So I'm just lost, man. But I want y'all to have a good evening. I'll be back here tomorrow with, with you know with some content as usual. But I just wanted to touch base with y'all. You know it's Saturday Night Live with CFT. Hopefully when I come back in here next week, Easter weekend, we have some good news to talk about. But until then, y'all have a good evening. I appreciate all the support, all the love. You hit the subscribe button if you if you haven't already. We're getting closer to 25K. But don't ever think that I don't appreciate every last one of y'all, even the haters. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Y'all have a good evening.